I'm kind of an oxymoron because I'm kind of a loner. I love being in a room alone and making music and, you know, with my own, you know, sometimes just watch movies and think and make music and, you know, talk on the phone and make music, you know. When you're on the road, you're, you're completely surrounded by band and crew and, you know, you're in and out of airports and venues and, you know, that's a different life too. And I love also being part of like a clique like Cash Money and and having a team and having people support what I do. So it's just, it's like a mixture of both. I hope it doesn't fall on me. Got it. Yeah. Oh wow, not only did you get it, you like got it and handed it. Look, look. He... You know what, I, I, I'm gonna be, I wanna be the modern Woody Allen of, of just commentary but really just all about the internet because I mean it, I, I don't even think Woody Allen actually knows these things exist he doesn't have a computer I mean he, he he writes all I saw the documentary he writes all his scripts on a like an old typewriter from the 50s I'm posting a photo okay you see this this is me posting a photo this is I just took some photo of these trees here and you know I don't know people tell me kids like trees so you know <laughs> the new record is called don't give up and I mean that one's pretty self-explanatory. That one's just it's kind of got like a little bit of a throwback, I don't know, Stones vibe in a in a way, a little U2 vibe in there. It's just a very like big message record, but it's not preachy. You know, don't look at what any, anyone else is doing. Don't don't care what anyone says. Don't let anyone discourage you from doing what you want to do and being who you want to be. And that's the whole message of the song. Holy crap! It's done. Hopefully it doesn't fall on somebody. When I moved down to Miami, um, it was like it was like moving to another planet because I was so used to New York and the energy and the craziness and everything. And I came down here. I really didn't know too many people, and I would go to this place called the Greek Place every day for breakfast. And, you know, I sort of found myself like sitting up at the bar and I was talking to like the old retirees and like the South American people and you got the Orthodox Jews and, and then you just got like the straight up local Florida people. And it was just part of my like daily life, you know? I don't know how it happened. I just started like hanging out and, you know, you just sort of start conversations with people. And I still talk to all those people. I see a lot you know a lot of them when I go back there it's cool because it's like it gave me the feeling of like a hometown rooting for you because I grew up in New York and it's not really that hometown like rooting for you thing it's more like everybody's just trying to do their thing and so that's my like that's where I got the feeling of like a kind of hometown rooting for you thing so don't give up don't look down cause you're